So lots of interesting things to look through in this month's granary sale. We start here with this fantastic uh, Second War Period photograph album. So it's titled on the front, India 1945, and it contains lots of original photos from Ceylon um, to do with the RAF. So there's a, a crew here and lots of interesting text as well to tell you what they were up to. And they were all on flying boats. Uh, and if we just have a look here, there's a... And here they are. Over here. It's the old kite again, it says. That, look at that thing there. And they're actually landing on the Maldives, carrying 1,460 gallons of petrol, a crew of 11 and six depth charges. <laughs> Don't think I'd want to be on there. So that, uh, that's that album. It goes with this um, related tortoiseshell, I suppose it's a compact with an RAF crest on the lid. So those two sort together, interesting items there. Estimate probably going to be 100 to 150, but that's fascinating. Uh, it's well worth looking through some of these boxfuls in the display cabinets here. There's some fascinating groups of things. So this is being sold as one lot, so lot 117 in the sale, and it contains Victorian pig-shaped pin cushions here, and this is Mortlin Ware, um, sort of a needle case, and little medals, and there's a little agate topped seal for sealing um, letters with sealing wax. A little ivory pot, which is Victorian. There's a tiny little um, novelty tape measure in the shape of a clock. So this actually just pulls out here. Isn't that, isn't that lovely? And then you wind it in with this button on the back. And all sorts in there. The little Victorian padlock. Uh, lots of tiny little enamel items in the bottom of there as well but that's just an example of one of the little boxfuls of, of items that we have in this time and here's another interesting box so this is this is a little collection of um oriental money so these are chinese um coins the the this is called bullet money for obvious reasons that's a piece little piece of silver and this is pin money which is um, sort of Arabic, and it has little lines of Arabic text along there. And these are all little f different forms of money from around the world. So that's, that's quite nice. Little um, pot of Victorian fishing reels. So that'll be sold as one lot, lot 120. Just, just shows that it's worth having a little rummage through some of these things. This is a beautiful little Chinese ivory box here. So this will date to about 1900, and it's Cantonese, so it's over 100 years old. And it's missing, and I think it's got a couple of feet inside that need reattaching, but the actual box is is in nice condition. But uh, just shows there's some really good antique things in this um, general auction here. Um, this is a 19th century tankard, a lidded tankard. Um, it's by Drummond of Glasgow. It's got their name on the bottom edge around here and look at this classical frieze around here it's beautifully decorated that's rather nice again should be at least a hundred pounds that one and again as we move move along lots of interesting plated items a silver wine funnel there for decanting your wine in a uh, bottle of wine into a decanter um, lots of interesting sort of boxfuls of jewelry um, actually there's another nice thing here, so they call these page turners for turning, turning the page of a book. This is Cantonese ivory and it's again about late 19th century, but the quality of the carving is just beautiful on this. Very nice thing. And there's another page turner there which is a silver handled one with an ivory blade. And then if we move along, lots of interesting ceramics and a very stylish um, Shelley Art Deco tea service there. Look at that, bright colours on that. And that looks to be complete as well in, and in good condition. Two teapots, a tea service for six people. That's, that's 
lovely. So there's masses of china and ceramics and glassware over here. And then we'll just go this way and explore a bit more. Lots of things to look through there. And lots of paintings on the wall here as well. And this one caught my eye. Oh, there's a really stylish um, oil on canvas. And it's got the original exhibition catalogue as well, where it was bought in London at Ohana Gallery. This is the name of the artist, Gibello. Um, this is in 1973 that was bought, so nearly 50 years ago. And there's a similar one in the same exhibition. But this, so that painting should be 100 to 200 pounds or something like that. Let's have a look around here. A little collection of modern Moorcroft here. We're still tidying up at the moment, so it's not quite as tidy as it should be. So several lots of modern Moorcroft, but all in immaculate condition. These are early wine bottles here. Dimple bottom, bottomed wine bottles. Now these are probably Dutch, I would have thought. Mallet shaped wine bottle from around 1700. That's a Victorian glass. They call these Epernes. There's, there's a table centre for displaying flowers. Oh, delicate glass. What else we got? This, um, stick stands and, and door stops. Down here. This is a nice little lot. So this is again it's sold as a little group. Um, so you've got a French carved wood nutcracker. That's better carving than most of these that I've seen. Um, that, which again is a, probably a Black Forest um, carved bowl, and the pair of frames as well. So that's all sold as one lot there. And again, there's got to be 100, 150 pounds worth collectively. It's well worth looking at these sort of group lots of collectibles. So there's, here's one lot of oriental items. So there's one, one group, all quite decorative things. There's a little bronze incense burner, some carvings. And a little carved stone Buddha. And we carry on. This is interesting, just before we go past, which is a 1973 or from Trinity Hall, um, what is it? It's an eight, isn't it? Yes, it's a rowing eight. So that's the presentation or, and this lot goes with it. There's the jacket that he wore. And these are all the photos from the, from the team. There's a stack of these. So that's all sold as one lot there. And we continue. Swords and an old French 19th century French fireman's helmet. And we've got vintage Bang and Olus and Hi Fi. Lots of vinyl this time. We've got boxes and boxes of this vintage vinyl, which is very sought after as well. Transformers toys, which seems to be. Highly sought after as well. And lots of interesting things on this is the this is table one. So this is the first group we sell on Wednesday uh, from nine o'clock. So we start off with these here, which is this is a uh, a wine um, collecting bucket. Uh, sorry, it's a grapevine collecting bucket. So it's, you take that out into the fields to collect the grapes. Um, next to it is another French nineteenth century brass. Jardinier and a tantalus. That's another Victorian tantalus with plated mounts. And a 19th century miniature sized um, cash register, a national cash register. We normally see these, when we do see them, they're twice the size of that. And we had one about uh, two or three months ago that's, that made about 500 pounds, but that was the double size one. This, is, I think, is particularly rare, being it was a small size. And lots of interesting things all over the place. 
So we'll just have a quick look downstairs and we'll show you what the furniture looks like on the lower floors. So here is the view now with the new uh, sort of low level layout of the sale room for the ground floor furniture. So rather than being in high stacked up rows of furniture, it's all now much more interesting to just wander in and out through these rows of furniture here. Um, but, and here's the view straight in when you come in through the front door. So right in front of us is this burr walnut fold over card table, which is it's Victorian. It's absolutely immaculate and the colour's good. And um, really they're, they're an absolute bargain these. Um, this one will probably make about 200 pounds, something like that. But for that quality of furniture, it's well worth it. Let's, let's keep wandering. There's another piece of Victorian furniture over here. So this is called a credenza, which is really just a, a side cabinet with bow glass doors at the end, marquetry inlay. That's probably going to make about £500 and probably 10 years ago would have made about £2,000. And we'll keep wandering down here, past carving of Mary. And there's lots of retro furniture this time as well, quite fashionable. Um, set of chairs here, but these are very stylish, aren't they? Set of those and the floor lamp as well, that's nice. And we've got a really stylish leather sofa here. Um, Victorian garden seat there. And it's just interesting now the fact that it's all quite low level that you can just wander in and out of these rows and see see a lot more of what's here. So you have quite a stylish uh, sort of small sized oak sideboard there. Tiny little um, eight-day running long case clock, which is 18th century. But, um, every little area is much easier to see now and has a lot more interesting things. Look at this lovely little chest of drawers. This is 18th century oak country chest. There, it's a lovely small size one. Unfortunately, I can't, can't remember the name of the designer of this. If you want to look it up, it's lot 1336 in the sale. And that looks really stylish, I like that. More clocks over there. And masses of furniture. And it goes on and it winds around and around up here. And then in the lower ground floor, in the basement, there's another selection of furniture and lots more things down there, lots of garden ornaments and furniture and um, another two or three hundred lots down there. So the best thing to do is to come and have a look around and just explore through it. Everything is photographed on the website now, so you can view the sale right now. Um, the viewing is on Saturday from 9 till 1, Monday from 9 till 5, Tuesday from 9 till 7. Sale starts on the, with the small section upstairs at 9 o'clock on the Wednesday and then the furniture will be on the Thursday from 10 o'clock. Please come and have a look. Thank you.